Hey guys and welcome! Today is yet another requested video and it's going to be about the Ball Python Essentials. Ball pythons are a very, very popular pet and for a very good reason. These guys are incredibly beautiful. They have some stunning colors, good size to them and their overall temperament is very docile. In this video I have gathered a few need to have and some nice to have when you're bringing home your new ball python. We're going to start off with the need to have. The first essential of course you need to have is housing and you can do that in several ways. Some people prefer racks, there is also chops and then there is terrariums. When we're talking about the size of the terrarium it of course depends on the ball python because if you're bringing home a tiny hatchling ball python you don't need to go uh, a full big size that you would buy for an adult but you do have to know that as the snake grows you will need to upgrade your terrarium. A good rule of thumb for the size is that in length it needs to be at least two thirds of the snake's body in the length and one third in depth. Of course you don't have to limit yourself to the smallest thing possible. You can go as big as you want as long as you're making sure that the snake has everything it needs inside. The next essential that you're gonna need is some sort of heat source. Now there are different heat sources that you can get. There are heating strap, there is a light bulb and then there is the heating mat. I will always recommend a heat mat for ball pythons because these snakes they really do enjoy to hide. So the best thing you can do is buy a heat mat, put it uh, underneath the terrarium in one of the sides, plug it in and then you're ready to go. If you do decide to go with a heat lamp for your ball python, do know that this might cause some stress for the snake because it really does prefer to hide uh, underneath its hide, but when it gets cold it is forced to go out to seek heat, so that might cause some, some, uh, some, some stress and some issues. So my recommendation for you definitely is going to get a heat mat for the heat, but if you want some light inside your terrarium, maybe you could go some LED stripes on the top that doesn't uh, provide heat but only provides light. The next essential that you're gonna need is substrate. Now there are tons and tons of different substrates that you can use. I'm very quickly just gonna mention aspen, coconut fiber and of course the less flattering but very effective newspaper. What you want to use as a substrate is entirely up to you and you may have to <clears throat> go through a few different to figure out what works best. If you're living in an area where it's very dry in, in the air you might want to go with a substrate that will allow for a lot of humidity and humidity is especially important when we're talking about ball pythons because the humidity needs to be on point pretty much for the ball python to thrive uh, in order to shed properly and also for it to be completely healthy. If the humidity is too high you can risk uh, a respiratory infection and if it's too low then the shed probably won't be good and that will also cause some health issues. I'm quickly gonna mention that if you want to know more about humidity which is extremely important with ball python I've linked to a video that uh, will tell you everything that you need to know about that and will also give you some tips and tricks to rise it if you're having trouble with that. The next essential that you're gonna need is a hide, preferably two. I always say two hides for one ball python. A hide in the warm side on top of the heat mat and then in the cold side where the snake can go to cool off. This will allow the snake to be wherever it wants to be, like to regulate its temperature as it wants to without having to be forced into the open. As we talked about before with ball pythons, they are quite shy and they really need to be able to hide and be comfortable with the temperature that they need. So two hides, one in each side of the terrarium. The next essential is of course a water bowl because your snake needs to drink. I can recommend that you get a water bowl that is big enough for this snake to soak. You don't need that, it's not an essential for it to be that big as long as it will allow the snake to drink. But many snakes, and I've observed that, they do enjoy being close to the water. They might even enjoy a little bit of a soak when the shed is coming. This will allow the snake to rise the humidity, which is pretty good when you're coming close to a shed because you really want that to go smoothly. If you decide to just go a smaller water bowl, which is perfectly fine, just make sure, of course, that you change it every day. And when the shed is coming closer, you can spray with a little bit of water around one of the hides and maybe just around the water bowl. That, again, will allow the snake to get this extra humidity that it might really need during this process. The next thing that I do personally think is an essential when it's coming to ball python is some branches to climb. Now there is this big debate whether or not ball pythons climb or they don't. I personally think that they do and I've seen plenty and plenty of other 
uh, ball pythons that does as well. So if you want to be really good to your snake, I really do recommend that you collect some branches. You can just go out in the forest. Of course, you need to make sure that you disinfect it. You can do that very simply by boiling some water and then cover the branches with water put it in a terrarium and then just enjoy that your snake will be climbing around. It's good for the snake, it allows for some activity and it really gives them this option to really use their muscles instead of just staying static in one place. You will most likely see your ball python using the branches close to feeding time or during the night. The next essential that I really think is important when you're having a ball python is a background for your terrarium. Now you can buy some that are already made if you, for example, have one of uh, these exoterras that I have in the bag. They really do have these uh, backgrounds that you can just purchase, which will look natural and nice. If you don't fancy that, you can simply just put a towel behind the terrarium. I've done that with some of mine. Covering the background of the terrarium and even the sides might seem a bit weird to you and you may be asking why that is necessary. Bull pythons, they are peculiar little creatures and they also get stressed quite easily. So if you cover the back and the sides of the terrarium, you are actively making the terrarium a much much safer place for the bull python to be. It's going to be less stressed because it feels more secure and the more that you can do to make sure that your ball python is feeling comfortable, the better. I can highly recommend it. I've done it with all my ball pythons. If you, for example, having issues with your ball python not wanting to eat, covering the back and the sides could be the solution uh, for it because your ball python is most likely just feeling really uncomfortable. So cover the back, cover the sides. So these things were the essentials and the need to have. Now I'm going to give you a few nice to have. Now these nice to have are not something that I will be all like, you need to have these, but they can be very good, you know. The first nice to have I would recommend is a journal. It doesn't have to be pen and paper. It can simply be on your computer or on your phone. It's a good idea to keep track of when your snake is eating, how much and if it is eating. You can also keep track of when it's shedding and you can also keep track of uh, how much it's weighing if you do like a monthly weigh-in. If you want to wake your snake, you have to remember to do it on an empty stomach and that means after it's pooped. That is when you will get the most accurate weight. The next nice to have is a tub, a little plastic tub with some holes drilled in the lid for air. You can use this tub uh, for the snake when you are cleaning because that way you don't have to have someone else hold it and you don't have to constantly keep your eye on it making sure that it's escaping. This will allow for the snake to just be comfortable in a tub over there while you're taking your time to clean the terrarium. Last but not least, I want to say that it is nice to have some extra room in your freezer. And that is for extra rodents. It's always a good idea to have extra food available. If you are in a situation where the snake really needs to eat and you haven't had the chance to buy, or maybe they don't have it anymore in the pet store. So always have some extra space for some extra food for your snake. All right, guys, that's all for today. I really do hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any comments or questions, you're welcome to put them down there. And if you have anything you want to add to the essentials list, I would very much like to hear. Just post it right down in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for now and bye bye.